Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'da habita fillah as we mentioned one of the characteristics of the mu'mineen is shyness and some of the ahadith which illustrate this important characteristic that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves <coughs> and that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam exhibited is the hadith of Imran bin Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu who reported the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said shyness does not bring anything except good. So a lot of people as we mentioned especially in the West we find people who believe the opposite to that. This has become what is a widespread as a belief is that shyness has no good. But the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said shyness does nothing but bring good. Or shyness does not bring anything except good. Ruahu Bukhari wa Muslim. And in a narration in Sahih Muslim, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, All shyness is good. Alayhi salatu wa salam. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in another hadith, and this is also in Bukhari and Muslim, Iman has 60 odd or 70 odd branches. The uppermost of all these is the testimony of faith. La ilaha illallah. Meaning there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. While the uh, least of them is the removal of harmful object from the road. And shyness is a branch of Iman. So here the Prophet والسلام, let us know that shyness is a part of Iman. SubhanAllah, shyness is a part of Iman. And may Allah bless us with that beautiful attribute. And especially our sons and our daughters. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Uh, Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, uh, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was even shyer than a virgin behind her veil. When he saw something which he disliked, we could perceive it on his face. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was very shy. But he was not shy with spreading the truth. But he was shy regarding those worldly affairs. And he was shy when he saw sinfulness. He shied away from it. So this is the type of, uh, of, of attribute of the mu'min. And as we see, the Prophet ﷺ was more shy than the virgin behind her veil. Subhanallah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is a this is a beautiful attribute and a beautiful lesson for us as 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 believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we should strive our best to have this attribute and teach this attribute to our children. If we were teaching these attributes to our children and our children had this type of shyness, do you think they would involve themselves in criminal activity? Do you think they would be cursing their elders? Do you think they would be disrespecting their elders? Do you think they would be the people who are going to jail and the people who are dealing drugs and the people who are doing all these activities in general no the answer to that is no they would not be from amongst those people the idnillah why because they had the beautiful tarbiyah the tarbiyah which showed him that shyness is a righteous characteristic and being shy and shying away from sin avoiding sin is righteousness and it's from iman and it's from taqwa and we know taqwa Allah is that the believer fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, fears Allah by doing his commands and avoiding <laughs> and avoiding his prohibitions so the mu'min is striving to have taqwa taqwa again is enjoining the commands of Allah and avoiding his prohibitions and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and the believing the ch believing children everywhere to be from those people of taqwa and those people of shyness and those people of iman and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the non-believers that we come in contact with and guide them and their children to Islam and to iman and to shyness and to khair and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم